Bazaar, Ahlam and I. Come on, we're gonna say hello to the peeps. Hey guys! It's been a long, <laughs> long time coming, but we are in the car and we are going to have some food and we're actually gonna go have breakfast. It's a Sunday, it's a holiday over here for New Year's, which was last Thursday, but we got Sunday off and we're going to have some great food in Dubai. You know, you gotta be careful where you go these days, no matter what. But we know that this place is hot. And hot, I don't mean hot like the heat. I mean, it's amazing. They're doing some awesome stuff. Hygienic. And hygienic <laughs> and quick and creative and tasty and innovative. And they always have like pop-ups on the weekend. So it's the kind of place that you want to go to time and again because there's always going to be something new and we love it. You don't even need to get down. You just stay in the car, order what we want and bring it in. And... Oh man, my mouth is watering already. Because <laughs> <laughs> actually, we ate at this place a number of times and we covered it on Instagram, but we never did a vlog about it. And you're going to get to see it firsthand. It's going to be superb. Enjoy the ride while we get there. You focus on the... <laughs> Guys, how many of you have... How many sanitizers do you have at hand at any given time? One, two... I have two in my bag actually. <laughs> Three. One gel and two sprays. Hey, it's just become the norm. Yeah. Woo! Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh. <laughs> Okay, all right. All right, let's clean that up a little bit. Ah, oh, 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 there we go. All right, yeah, I mean, it is a norm. You gotta sanitize everywhere you go, everything you touch, everywhere you sit. It's just, new you normal. know, a new norm. So peeps, here's the thing about Dubai, right? People love to eat and drink on the go. So this is one of those spots. You actually drive over here, you stop, you honk, they come out, they take your order. She's about to walk out. And then we get out of here. There you go, she's coming up. Hello. Hi. How are you? Oh yeah. Hello, sir. How are you? How's everything, Hi, okay? thank you, yeah. Awesome, thank you awesome. Okay, we have, two. oh, you have Bilali today? Yes. You do? Yes. Oh. Okay, can we have one of the balalis? Okay. And one egg chorizo bun? Okay. No, no, no. One egg. I want my own. Okay, two. <laughs> two, two egg chorizo bun. Okay. Okay. <laughs> and one balalit. Okay. And, and what do you want to drink? Uh, I'm going to have the... You know what? I'm actually going to have a karak this morning. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Um, I'm going to have a rose faluda. Okay. You want that? Yeah, sure. I have a rose. So faluda. rose faluda karak. Okay. Two chorizo buns. Okay. And one balalit. Okay. Two chorizo buns, one balalit, and rose faluda. That's it. Okay. Thank yeah. you. And a karak. Hangry. <laughs> hangry is a real word, people. Real word. Yeah, I mean, you can't imagine having breakfast at 11.30, so you are going to get hangry, but... This is actually my regular drink. That's what I always come back for. Definitely worth the wait, though, for yeah, sure. Look mm -hmm. at that. Oh. Yeah, that is beautiful. It's amazing. It's perfect for the summer, so it's kind of like a slushy more than a juice and it's got those chaya seeds and um, look at that rose petals right on top rose petals so so refreshing and that is organic milk mm -hmm. and you can do um, they do almond milk as well if you don't want to have dairy oh yeah I forgot about that mm -hmm. that's right that's right yeah. that's right and not too sweet so good super refreshing though for a sunny day like this mm -hmm. uh, uh, thought you would never ask. <laughs> yes, I do want to try. I did have my mask off a little bit. Mm. 
Mm. I love it. It's like ice blended. Mm. Of course, fantastic. You get that big straw as well. So make sure you get that big gulp, which is amazing. I'll give it back to you in a second. He's like, I am. <laughs> like, this is him. When I tell him to take a bite, he'll like bite off my half of my yeah, entire sandwich. It's, it's true. Like, <laughs> Even this, I would have gone like. <laughs> it's like that scene from Pulp Fiction where he's like, "Can I have a little bit of your drink?" And he drinks the entire Let me thing. See, what's the biggest sip that you can take? I don't think we want to do it over here because I'll finish it. No, no, not not today when you're hangry. No, no, not today. I want to see. I, no, no, I, I can finish all of this. I can go in one go. I can. <laughs> I'm telling you. I, no, just one I'm time. telling Possible. you. Let's go find it here. It will pump pump fiction style. I'm telling you. I'll do it this another day. My... Come on. That's it. No, no. In one go. I can do the whole thing. No, I don't want to do it. I'm telling you, I could do it. I'm not gonna do it. I'm not gonna do it. I can do the whole thing, but I don't want to do it because you're. I don't want to finish it here. So, mm. all right. You ready for the food? Mm -hmm. All right. Let's do this. brown bag and hangry is about to turn into happy. <laughs> <laughs> I've been dreaming about this since Friday. Oh my god. Oh yeah and guess who joined us right here. Look at that. I'm already done. <laughs> <laughs> that is the way Mohammed. Just like a boss. So here we go. This peeps you have to see. Look at this. Oh that is potato Bun, Japanese bun. Got that chorizo over there. Got that omelet with cheese. All right, you take the first bite. You My take the first amazing. bite. Look. All right, you Make take. Instagram. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna. Mmm. Mmm. I love it so much because. Oh, by the way. Oh. Mm. I know what that little kick is from actually. Sriracha. Which Mohammed over here added like double and triple. But yeah, you got some sriracha over there. You got a little bit of that mayo chop over there as well. You got fluffy egg made with a little bit of milk. So it gets that fluffiness. And that chorizo. And that chorizo is from Mata Farms over here in the UAE. You guys rock. But Karak Inc. DJ. Bliss, Chef Sahab. This is awesome. It's amazing. It's my favorite breakfast right now. Mmm. 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 Check this out, Pete. It's the playoffs right now, so you know what's up. Peeps, I also got one of these. These are what they call the mini Carax at one dirham. Just like you get that ice cream cone at McDonald's for a dirham, the one dirham masterpiece over here at Karak Inc. is, of course, a Karak. And look at that. Look at that. Love it. Look at the color of that. It's like that orangey, dark color. And you got that milk fat up on top. Oh, this karak is gonna be good. And you know, I don't drink a lot of dairy karak anymore because I'm doing non-dairy, but I'll still do this one as well. Oh, and Mohammed got himself a rose faluda. Thank you. As well. It's great. Thank oh, you so much. it looks amazing. Anyways, back to the karak. So, taste this one. Oh, that is amazing. I love this. It actually does not have a lot of sugar in it, which is fantastic. Kind of has to be a little bit bitter. You guys know that. Mmm, that is good. That is a good, good, good kind of. Now, you do know, always better to have the hot stuff before 
the hot stuff and I mean that sandwich obviously because you get spiciness on your tongue it's a little bit more difficult to enjoy a hot beverage nonetheless amazing karak well done DJ Bliss Chef Saha you're still having your sandwich I'm enjoying it oh I did too so did Mohammed when he like smashed it in two bites <laughs> I'm at dessert already <laughs> you don't really enjoy the flavor of something when you just like swallow the whole thing you've got to like taste it bit oh, by bit we do <laughs> I, I just eat more efficiently <laughs> You guys know the balali is basically sweet vermicelli. It's got saffron in there, so it gives it that color. It's got cardamom in there, and it's got sugar as well to give it a little bit of sweetness. Look at that, it's beautiful. Oh That's amazing. That's like Chinese takeout, but just a different take on it. Karak Inc. is amazing. And now, time for this amazing homemade balalit. And when I say homemade, I mean this is the recipe that we have at the Al Awadi house in every single way. This is phenomenal. Look at that. You get that in like a little Chinese takeaway box, which is just phenomenal. All right, let's do this. All right. And by the way, I'm one of those guys that likes to put a lot of salt on that egg so you really get that sweet, savory mix right there. So, so I'm gonna do this in two takes, peeps. Egg first. Are you ready? I'm not gonna drop it in your car, don't worry. Well, I'll eat next. Mmm! Mmm! Oh, that's phenomenal. Oh my god, I really love the way they make the eggs over here. It's so lovely. Mm -hmm. I filmed the whole thing. It's exactly like how I make it at home. It just feels fluffier than when we make it at home. Why? Mom, what's the secret to a fluffy omelet? So there's two things. Eggs, when you cook them, they dehydrate. So mm -hmm. that's why, and then if you cook it too high on too high heat, mm -hmm. it becomes rubbery. Mm. So the secret to moist, but not slimy, soft eggs low heat mm -hmm. and then when oh low heat how low is that heat? high heat no oh so you low, low heat it and you all right and slowly cook that right mm -hmm. even whether whether it's sunny side up or scrambled or omelet mm -hmm. second thing is for every egg add a tablespoon of either cream mm -hmm. we do that we water do we do that as well. water or water. Yeah, so what you do is you hydrate the egg. Uh -huh. So when you're cooking it, it cooks even slower, but it's still hydrated. That's it, folks. Heard it right here first. Peeps, how is... But it's gotta be better when you put cream than water. Temperature. Or butter. So you could you could use cream, a tablespoon. You could use a tablespoon of mm -hmm. olive oil or any oil of your choice That's, that doesn't have a lot of flavor. Um, or butter. Mm -hmm. But you have to whip it in, whip it into the eggs. Awesome. Well, we got all the tips. Now it is time to finish that, well, together to finish that balloon. <laughs> like munching away the whole time. Yeah, and by the way, there aren't a lot of places in Dubai where you can get balali to begin with. So it's one of those dishes. You get it at home a lot. Not a lot of restaurants carry it. But Karak Inc. right here, Box Park Miras on Al Wasl Road in Jumeirah, right next to Safa Park. I mean, I gave you every single landmark, every single thing you need to get here. They have awesome parking, and you could just park like we are, like a lot of people are, just head inside, get some food. Uh, they don't have an indoor area, uh, they've got an outdoor area, so in the winter it's amazing. In the summer, you gotta sit in the car like us. Big, 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 big bike. Car. <laughs> really like that, man. How like non-hospitable of me. 
for being environmentally friendly and sharing not, one fork as well. Third. So I don't yeah. think a third person should. Yeah. <laughs> That's my Peter Pano brother. <laughs> if you're Instagramming, but you're not in the Instagram, do you even <laughs> exist? <laughs> Looks like I didn't, folks. <laughs> I didn't realize you wanted more. I smashed all the eggs and just left like a little bit of the balalit and that is what tends to happen peeps is you tend to eat a lot of the egg and then you get left with the balalit which by the way I have no quarrels about it is awesome actually I mean vermicelli sweet it's got um, cardamom cardamom in there however you like to say it it's got um, uh, rose water in there as well. It's got, um, oh, what is it called? The thing that turns it yellow. Cinnamon, saffron. Saffron. Oh, God, sometimes I just forget those words. Saffron in there as well. So you could actually eat it plain. It is amazing. And by the way, when you're cooking it at home, you know when you have it in a pot, extra cook a little bit so the bottom of it gets all crispy. That is another secret to an awesome balalit and I don't know if a lot of people do it that way but all right one of these days we got to make balalit at home and give people the recipe what do you think yeah it's not gonna be as good as this one I mean here's the thing right the <laughs> recipe is simple but it's not easy you got to get it right otherwise it will not turn well I don't know what it is about balalit the first time I made it it was really good and then I've never got it right again it always gets mushy or like sticky I got you, don't worry. I'll take care of you. <laughs> anyway, that was an awesome meal piece. We're gonna get out of here because we've had breakfast and lunch put together. It's 12 noon right now. We are heading home to enjoy the rest of this amazing holiday. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe, and make sure you come to Karak Inc. right here in Jumeirah in Box Park. See you guys on another video. Bye. Bye-bye. <laughs>